hey, uh, your great, uh, great ancestors just died right now, and you got their entire inheritance, and that's a lot of money. Goodbye. What do I do with all this money now? Do you have a ton of money that you have no clue what to do with now? Do you have no clue what you're doing with investing? Oh, perfect, he's playing Fortnite. I could just explain investing in Fortnite terms. This helps out everybody a lot. Come with me. With your new wad of clams, you have honestly a ton of options. Why do you want to live a life working for money when you could get money to work for you? This is exactly what we want here. The stock market. Think of the stock market like every inventory item in the game. And the weapons are like your stocks. Just like choosing the right weapon for a situation in the game, you choose the right stock based on whether you think it'll perform well and maybe it'll you know grow in value. Bonds in Fortnite. Bonds are like the shield pots in Fortnite because much like offering a hedge against volatility, bonds are actually pretty safe and they keep you healthy during uh, financial storms. Bonds and shield, they offer a fixed rate. So shield, you can get yourself to 100 shield. Mutual funds. Mutual funds are just like playing squads or joining up with another team, we'll call these investors, and you work together to really win. Your goal as group investors is to get the victory royale. Real estate. Real estate is like the building structures in Fortnite's game because with every structure, whether it's small or large, there is a lot of loot that's in it. And it doesn't matter what point in the game you are because maybe if you see an unlooted building, there's gonna be loot there, which makes them really valuable throughout the entire game. Retirement account. Retirement account in Fortnite's Battle Royale mode is really like saving weapons. Because throughout the entire game, you're collecting loot, you're collecting weapons and shields, and you're making yourself the perfect loadout that'll last you to retirement, which will be getting that victory royale. Index funds. Index funds are like Fortnite's main screen where it does show you every single game mode and it offers a ton of options. So you're not really stuck with one thing like Battle Royale and thus you can earn a lot of points in a lot of different ways. Points I'll consider to be the currency. Commodities. Commodities in Fortnite I'd consider the golden legendary weapons. See, these have intrinsic value. Even if it's like a pistol that's gold, you know it's gonna deal a lot of damage. And just like having a little bit of diversity in your portfolio, getting a gold weapon, whether it's a pistol in a full inventory of commons, that can be a real great hedge. Cryptocurrency. So ultimately, cryptocurrency is the head of Fortnite's danger, the storm. You do not want to be caught in a storm, but just like the storm, cryptocurrency is very volatile and unpredictable. So although it does have really big benefits, big losses, big wins, it also comes with the downsides, heavy downsides, like losing it all. So honestly, if you do end up playing by this rule book, it's really suggested that you think smart and quickly. Now that I've taught you multiple ways to get your money working for you. Get out there, bud. Make your money. Start looking for that home in retail row.